Up to this point, there has been no bolt lift kit available for Savage Axis rifles. A bolt lift kit basically is a kit that goes inside your bolt and it makes uh, it easier to lift your bolt once you've shot and cycle the rifle essentially. Uh, this is a Savage Axis bolt right here. It's been fluted by myself. Now the kit that you will get in the mail from me will have these three little components. There's two washers and a bearing. Uh, you may need wire cutters. Not all of them will need this. And then a pair of calipers and then a quarter inch Allen key and probably access to a grinding wheel. So first things first, we're going to decock it just like that. And then we're going to take our Allen wrench now, some of these are very, very hard to first break free. The uh, the guys at Savage like to screw these in really hard, but don't worry, they don't break. So then we're going to pull out the spring. Now, as you can see, this one is a one-piece spring. Uh, many Savage Axes, the, the spring is actually in two pieces, and there's like a little ring in between the two. That little ring will go in the trash, okay? Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the spring because, you know, we have one here that is a one piece. I'm actually going to cut it. It's pretty hard to cut. And then I'm going to take the two ends here and I'm going to step over to the grindy wheel. And what we want to do is we want to grind these two surfaces relatively flat because the bearing is going to go in between them. So the purpose of the calipers is essentially to remove enough of the spring and shorten it essentially so that the additional space that these washers is going to take up is compensated for. So typically these washers come in at 191 thousandths like so um, thick so you need to take off about 191 thousandths or 200 thousandths roughly thereof of the length of the spring. And you can do that with a pair of pliers uh, or you can grind them down on a surf on like a grinder, a bench grinder or something like that. So to reassemble, first, now this guy here, when I cut this down, I typically eat it down so it's one complete wrap of the coil, and make sure that the uh, the nose end of it goes into the groove that's on the firing pin, and then we're going to install our first washer with the bearing raceway facing out. And we're actually going to drop down the bearing. Next, we're going to install the washer with the bearing raceway facing down. And then I typically take the closed end of the spring, put that inwards next, and then on top of that goes the BAS. And of course, all of this can be tightened up together and what the kit essentially does is it eliminates some of the friction that goes on here because that spring has to rotate against the metal surface but now we can rotate it essentially against these ball bearings and that should make your bolt lift a little bit lighter. So there, I just cocked it and that felt a little bit better. 